Okay, now I want to show you how to do this simple accommodative stamina testing with flippers. So I'm going to give Emily a small target to look at. We're going to start with that line in the middle, the OLHJ line, so I'll give you that. Now she is wearing either her habitual correction or in M's case she's unaided at near for us to be able to check if she has the appropriate stamina. Now I'm going to start with my plus minus two and my plus minus 150 flippers. I'm going to add the two of them together to make minus 350. So our expected positive relative accommodation value, our ability to clear minus is minus 350. So we've got this with the flippers. So have a look at that line, the OLHA line. Keep looking at it. Can you read the line just below that to me? E C T L O. Good. So M's just cleared minus 350. We know that, that she's capable of that. So now we're going to flip to our plus two. And this is our expected limit for negative relative accommodation, NRA, our ability to clear plus. So we're going to go a little bit smaller and see if she can see through that. So can you read the line just below that one to me, the second bottom line? C-L-H-M-A. Good. Now we're going to have a look at her facility by flipping the plus minus two flippers a few times. Can you read that line backwards, the one you just read? A-M-H-L-C. Good. So she's just cleared minus two. And now have a go at reading that bottom line if you can. A L uh, A E L O M C T. Fantastic. So M's just cleared plus or minus two efficiently. We know she's <coughs> clear minus 350 as well. So now we're going to jump back up to do a few more tests of facility. So jump back up to that E line for me. Keep looking at it. And just say yes as soon as it comes into focus. So as soon as it's clear, just say yes. And we're using plus or minus two. Yes. Yes. Good. Yes. We're going to do it a few times yes. to see if your eyes get tired. Yes. Or if they're super strong. Yes. Yes. Good. Yes. This is minus two. Yes. Is that staying clear or wobbling a bit? A little bit wobbly. And is this one staying clear or wobbling a bit? Staying clear. Good. So we know she's doing quite well at those, but say for example M couldn't clear plus two. Then let's jump back to plus minus 150, see if she can clear that. Now I know she can because she already cleared two, but if you keep looking at that E line there and say yes as soon as it's clear, as soon as it comes into focus. Yes. Yes. Good. We know she can do yes. this. Yes. But if she had problems yes. Yes. with either plus or minus 150, then we can drop back. To our plus or minus one flipper so in that way you can get a very clear measurement of where we can get to with minus and where we can get to with plus again as well and emily's fantastic at this because she didn't used to be but she did her eye exercises and now her eyes are fabulous and um, that's a very simple way for you to be able to check accommodative function just with some flippers and with your near retinoscope as well